welcome back to my channel. I have a really, really important video for you guys today. This is gonna be all about grooming your Yorkie puppy. Ah, don't you just love getting groomed, Frankie? He hates it. So Frankie just turned six months a few weeks ago, so now he's old enough and has all the shots necessary to go to the groomer. But like, I don't think it's time for him to go yet, so I've been learning different ways to groom him at home. Um, one thing that Frankie hates is baths, so I only do that about once a month because I don't want to put him through too much, but I'm trying to teach him how to enjoy a bath. But one thing he does kind of like is the brushing part, and he doesn't mind getting his nails clipped. He's struggling with brushing his teeth, but I want to show you guys what I would do on a day where, or a weekend, maybe when I wouldn't bathe Frankie, but I would just, you know, get rid of some of the mats he has and freshen him up. All right. Frankie, you're being so good. He knows what's up. So here are the things I would use to groom him. I have a bunch of different brushes. This is a dual brush. Oh my gosh, that's so much burn. It's so embarrassing. It has like the four bristle side. And then I'm not sure what this side is called, but it has like the little balls at the end. This is actually not good for dogs with hair. I don't know, Ava's groomer told me that. So I don't really use this brush. And I have another version of just the one with the bristle balls at the top. The balls are supposed to make the brushing more um, comfortable for the dogs instead of just the plain bristle, but it's just not good for Frankie's hair texture. Then I have a traditional slick, all my brushes are dirty. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> a traditional slicker brush. This one's specifically for small dogs, or you would use this like on your dog's legs or, you know, traditionally not their back if you have a larger dog. Um, this brush is fine, but my all-time favorite brush is this Chris Christensen brush. This is a professional grooming brush, and if you have a dog with long hair or a dog that gets mats a little easier than the traditional dog, you need this brush because I don't know what or how, but anytime Frankie gets a mat, which is quite often, this just gets it right out. Like I, mats used to scare me. I used to think, oh my God, no, you're gonna have to be shaved down. But no, no, you're gonna be totally fine. So these are the brushes I rotate, but I mainly use this one. All right, next we have pet cleansing wipes. Um, I usually use these to wipe their feet or if they get a little stuff, stuff on their stuff. These are good. I, I got these from Ross, they were $3.99. I don't use a particular brand. They all pretty much have the same purpose, just a wet, wet wipe that's like uh, safe for their skin. Here is Frankie and Ava's toothbrush they share, sorry. I brush their teeth. I try to do it once a week if they let me. Ava hates it, but Frankie, like he's a puppy, he's down for anything. Uh, I can either put it on my finger, which works the best, it's a little finger brush, or I can use the small side of this long toothbrush. This is for if you have a huge dog, but I only have a little doll. And then you use the toothpaste. I don't know what flavor it is. It smells like nothing. It says it's cool mint, but I don't know. I got this from TJ Maxx and it was $5.99. Next are the nail clippers. These are super important if you don't want to get scratched. Frankie doesn't mind this. Ava, she, you know, it depends on the day, but it's really easy to get your dog used to these, at least in my experience. And then I have this Tangle Remover by Tropiclean. And the scent, I was about to say the flavor, and the scent Sweet Pea. This stuff works really, really well, especially when I use it with this um, Chris Christensen brush. Oh my gosh, it works magic. Um, and then I have this waterless bath. I spray this on after I give them a bath or throughout the week when they start getting a little stinky, like if it rains and their fur gets wet, they start to smell really bad, so I'll spray this. And last but not least, treats. I use these a lot with Frankie when I'm grooming them because that's the only way I can get him to calm down and it's getting him used to the fact that grooming is a good thing and it means I get rewarded, yay! So I use the Instinct Raw Boost Mixers. This is what Frankie and Ava use during training and they really, really love it. They get super obedient when they hear the bag open. Like Ava just sat down, so I'll give her one. And Frankie, you get one for just being here. And for Frankie, I usually just break them in half. They're freeze dried, so they're really easy to break in half. So, okay, let's get started. So, I didn't. Oh, hi, thanks, Frankie. <laughs> so, I didn't brush Frankie for about three days, so I can show you how amazing this brush works. But as I'm like go 
bringing my hands up because for it's getting stuck like right in this area of course when i go down it doesn't get stuck but going upwards it gets stuck it his hair is just like not it just doesn't look good <laughs> no offense on his stomach he has some mats um his arms his elbows he usually gets mats and usually in like the uh, booty area he gets a lot of mats there so it's best to groom your dog up on a high surface because when they eventually go to the groomer they're going to be um, on a table more than likely so it's good to get your dog used to being on a high table like Frankie is um, I'm gonna take his collar off so I can really get in there and I always want Frankie to I don't mind if he sits but I prefer him to stand so I just do this a bunch of times so he can understand that he needs to stand he thinks I'm playing with him and I praise him yay Frankie you're doing so good and I give him a treat every few, maybe like every 30 seconds, I try to give him a treat. That may be excessive, but I want him to know that he's doing a really good job. So I'll start off by spraying the Tangle Remover and I hold his neck gently. He does not like anything that's liquid. But I just spray it all over him and then just give it a quick rub. And yeah, I give him a treat. Good boy, Frankie. And now we can get the brushing process going. So let me show you what the brush looks like before. Ouch, sharp. Okay, so you can see it's pretty empty. You know, it still has some fur in it, but watch. Frankie, you just ate all your treats. So I just pull, pull, pull. And it looks like I'm doing it very rough, but I'm not. If it hurts him, trust me, Frankie will scream. He's so sensitive. <laughs> so I do, I would say about 15 to 20 strokes per side of his back. Good boy. And when I see him getting restless, I give him a treat so he can chew on that and um, forget why he's here. Good job. And I praise him so we can know that he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. And look at the hair that's coming out, right? And I'm also gonna get the back, like his lower back. And guys, his hair is so smooth now. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So I can comb down and my hands go right up. Isn't that crazy? So amazing, this brush is amazing. All right, now time to get his belly. He loves this. All right, so I'm gonna give him a treat. Let him smell the brush, and I get his stomach. Because he gets mad. <laughs> He's not liking it today, but we have to get it because he gets a lot of mat on his mats on his stomach. I'm trying to get the sides. Come on, Frankie. If you stay calm, I'll give you a treat. Good boy. Stomach. I'm trying to get the sides, Frankie. I go down and get his legs, his neck. He looks so cute when he's brushed out. Thank you. And let's get his chest. <laughs> Thank you. I get his stomach again. Oh yeah, and I have his towel down so he doesn't slip. Now time for his head. Ooh, your neck. I'm getting into his chin. Trying to sneak and get his arms real quick. No, stop eating your fur. Stop it. And that's pretty much it for brushing him, guys. I could just do this all day, but I, I probably would start to hurt. His hair is getting so thick and so long. Look at this old clip of Frankie when he had like no fur on him. Okay, not no fur, but not as much as he has now. Let's get the booty. I am gonna take this four bristle brush and just brush his hair once over. Now it's time for the nail clipper. This part is gonna be a little difficult. So for this, I like to hold him, so I pull his fur back because he has a lot of fur covering his nails. Good boy. 
and I don't cut too low because I'm scared, but I cut just enough to, to where it matters. Okay, we gotta get those pine toes. Let's do it. Last but not least, well, actually not last, one of the last things is brushing his little teeth. So I'm gonna use the little finger brush. All I do is squirt a little on here like so. Then I take little Frankie, Frankie sit. Good boy. I pull his mouth open and I go, he's like, ah, what is that? And he licks it. But I try to get four passes on, like two on each side pretty much. Frankie, please sit, sit. Okay, come on, please be. You're gonna go to love to brush your teeth. Yes, yes. And one more pass. Good boy! You did it! That by far was the easiest. Alright, now I'm gonna wipe his paws with the little cleansing cloth. Because he loves running around outside and walking right through all the mud. Oh no! Stop eating that! Stop it! Who else's dog eats their fur? Like, that's so disgusting. It's like me eating my skin. Can you wipe his under area? Ava's so jealous. All right, one more brush through. Oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot to mention, I do take this, the wet wipes, and I get his face. Because he gets like little tear marks. And then I take the Puppy Gentle Waterless Bath by Esprit. It smells so good. It's called Fresh. That's the fragrance. Mm, they're not lying. My spray baby hates it. But I have to, or else he'll stink. And I just rub it through. And that's it, Frankie. You did so good. Well, that's about it. That's how I groom a six month old puppy without a bath, a bathless grooming session. It all in all takes about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on the behavior of your dog. I bet if Frankie just sat still the entire time, I could do this in maybe 10 minutes, but it's super easy. I recommend you do this at least once a week, especially if you're trying to get your dog used to different utensils. Some other things you can do to get your dog ready for the groomer is hold a pencil in front of their eye and go back and forth like this for at least a minute a day to get them used to when the scissors will cut across their face. If you have like any type of electric razor, let them hear that sound, rub the razor opposite side of the blade along their body so they can feel what it feels like to get shaved, but not actually get shaved unless you want to try it out. Sometimes I want to try it out. But yeah, like mimic what it would be like to be at the groomer. Um, maybe even have a friend do that for you instead of you so your dog can realize that, okay, you're not gonna be the one grooming them. Um, and always reward your dog for good behavior. If they sit still while doing something, make sure you give them the most praise because that's going to help the grooming staff have the most enjoyable experience with your dog. And I don't know if anyone's ever had a bad report from their groomer, but I've seen it happen when someone picked up their dog and they were probably like so embarrassed. And I never want that to be me. So thanks again to everyone for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos of me. <laughs> he doesn't want to be here to see more videos of me, Frankie and Ava. Thanks everyone, bye.